Hey folks and welcome to this series of videos on the Rhapsody Power Pack. I'm Andy Lapping and in this first video I'll give you a brief introduction to what the Rhapsody Power Pack is and how to start using it. So what is the Rhapsody Power Pack? Well it's a profile for Rhapsody that contains a wealth of useful tools and automations. Kind of a Swiss army knife for Rhapsody models. And the easiest way to get a feel for it is to use it. You can add the Power Pack profile to any Rhapsody model. I'm using one of the sample models that comes with the Rhapsody installation, the Toll Road. I'm also using Rhapsody 10, but the Power Pack works just fine with earlier Rhapsody versions as well. We add the Power Pack just as we do with any other profile. File, add profile to model, Rhapsody Power Pack, and then Rhapsody Power Pack SBSX. Now notice that it's added an extra toolbar to Rhapsody. That's a feature of Rhapsody 10. If you are using an earlier version, of course you won't have that, but it's just an alternative way of launching helpers. Let's start by opening the help for the Power Pack so we can see what's in it. The help is supplied in both HTML and Microsoft compiled help format, so you can view the content in whichever tool you prefer. We can open that help in various ways. The first is by right-clicking the root of the project, where we have an open Power Pack help menu. There we can open it in either of the two formats. Let's choose System Help Viewer. Now if you're using Rhapsody 10, you have the additional option of opening that same content inside Rhapsody. First, on the help menu, there is an additional set of menus. Let's use this one and open the help as a tabbed page inside Rhapsody. You could also open it docked and you can use the toolbar buttons here instead of the menus, but it's all the same content. So what's in the pack? Well, there are three main categories. We have some custom model browsers that help to navigate complex models. There are some custom tables and table layouts. And of course, there are helpers, lots of helpers. And we'll be exploring these in more detail over the coming series of videos. But just to whet your appetite, let's use one now. Delete event. Over here in the Rhapsody browser, if I expand the road monitoring package, there we have some events. Now if I try to delete one of them, Rhapsody refuses. The event is being used in various places across this model. Now, while that's great to stop me accidentally deleting an event that is being used, it doesn't give me much help at all in finding out where it's being used. Now, of course, I could close this and I could use references to start finding those elements and then manually deleting one each one at a time, but that, that's all a bit laborious. So let's use the Power Pack instead. All of the Rhapsody Power Pack helpers are on a Power Pack submenu. And here we have delete event. Now I get a similar message that we can't simply delete the event as it is being used, but I can see where simply by double clicking elements in that list. And if I still want to go ahead and delete the event, then that helper can delete all of the references and the event in one click. I can also undo that. Although be aware that this is of course using the Rhapsody API and that API does have some limitations with regards to undo. Now, there's also a similar helper for deleting types which also suffer from that same effect. Well that's it for this video. Over the course of this series we'll explore the rest of the Rhapsody Power Pack features that will greatly improve your Rhapsody user experience. So please do subscribe if you want to be notified as those videos get published. But for now, thanks for watching.